This is MathGuide.com, and my name is Mark Karadimos. In this video, we're going to talk about how to solve a system of linear equations. And the technique here is going to be called reduced row echelon form, or otherwise known as RREF for short. So in this video, we're going to have three sections. In the first section, we're going to talk about the special form the equations have to be in. Then we're going to look at two examples. All right, let's get started. All right, here's section one. Uh, we're going to talk about the form that the equations have to be in. So let me put two examples up here on the screen. So here we see two different systems of equations, both of which have two equations and two unknowns. Uh, so let's talk about the difference between the two. Well, you'll notice over here uh, for our first one, it's really in a great form because you'll notice that the X's are in a column by themselves. Y's are in a column by themselves. You have an equal sign and you got numbers all by themselves. So you can see everything's nicely organized. Everything's placed in a nice position. Uh, it's just nice. Okay, and, and you can see the huge di difference over here with equation number two. The bottom equation looks really good because I've got X's, I got Y's, and I got a number alone on one side of the equation. But now if you look at that first equation over here, it's a mess. I've got, sure, I got Y alone. It's great for graphing if I want it in that form, but it's not ready uh, to be used for REF because it's not, uh, you know, in this form where I've got X's in the first column, Y's in the second column, and numbers alone. So things would have to be shifted around. Okay, so this is the form on the left, that, that uh, equation, set, uh, system of equations on the left. That's exactly how you want to get your equations. All right, so now that we know what it's supposed to look like, let's actually do an example and, and, and I'll show you how to use the calculator. All right, so here's our first example of an actual problem. So uh, we have this uh, system of equations and everything's in a nice form. We got X's in the first column, Y's in the second, numbers all alone over there. Looks great. So we're going to plug this into a graphing calculator. I'm going to use the Texas Instruments uh, TI Inspire. You could use several other different types of calculators, but I want you to realize that this does have two rows and it has three columns. Okay, because we're going to put this into a matrix so you have to keep that in mind. All right, so let's see what that looks like. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a new document. So I'm gonna go new document, I'm gonna get a calculator, and again, I'm going to pull up a calculator uh, and use the matrix function. Again, I want two rows and three columns. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick in the numbers into this uh, matrix. In here, I got two, five, and negative eight. All right, so it's pretty easily done. You get the numbers plugged in there. Then what do you do? You press enter, and there you go. So it's been stored into the calculator. So now I want to solve this. So what I do is I hit the menu button. I go to matrix, right? It, it seems to be the logical, oops, logical place to go because I'm dealing with the matrix. So it's the longest one there. It's the reduced row echelon form. So I hit that. You can see the cursor is blinking. It's saying, hey, you want to take the reduced row echelon form of what? But I want to take it of that matrix. So you hit your up arrow. Okay, you highlight that matrix and you press enter. So you notice that it goes right in there, right? So then what you do is you press enter one more time and it gives you this other matrix. Okay, so I want to write down this matrix. All right, so if you remember on the other screen, it did give us a matrix, and it gave us the matrix 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, negative 2. Okay, so it, it gave us back another 2 by 3 matrix. And easily done because the answer is right there. If you see those numbers in the last column, the 1 and negative 2, the 1 is the x, the negative 2 is the y, and you're done. So what's your solution? One, negative two. Yep, it's just that easy. All right, let's talk about another example. 
All right, here's our second example and our third section in this video. So uh, this is a little bit of a problem. As I showed earlier in this video, this set of equations are not, they're just not, it's not in a, in a nice form. So the last equation is dandy. Look at that, x in the first column, y in the second column, you got a number alone. It's exactly what I want for the first equation. So I gotta move over the x. So I'm gonna subtract 3x from both sides. So if I do that, that first equation becomes negative 3x plus y equals 9. Notice how when the 3x moved over to the other side of the equal sign, it just changed to the opposite. It was a plus 3x over here. Across the equal sign, it's going to be a negative 3x. Okay, now I got 5x minus 2y equals negative 16. And that is our second equation. All right, so that's what I'm going to plug in the calculator, which I'm going to do on the next screen. All right, so let me pull up the calculator. All right, so I took the liberty of getting a new document, and it's a new calculator document. So the first thing I'm going to do is pull up the menu. Again, I'm going to get a 2 by 3, a 2 by 3 matrix. I'm going to put in those numbers that we just saw on the last screen. So it was negative 3. 1 and 9, and the other one was going to be 5, negative 2, and negative 16. Okay, so again, what you do is you hit enter, now it's into the calculator, the matrix is, matrix is stored. So now what we have to do is use this thing called RREF. So you hit menu, and I'm going to go to matrix, because I'm dealing with the matrix, and reduce row echelon form. You can see again the cursor is waiting for a matrix. I want to highlight this matrix, so you hit your up arrow. I'm going to hit enter, and now I'm going to hit enter one more time, and voila. You can see that I have my answer, and I'm going to write that down in the next screen. All right, so again, the handheld calculator, really a computer, it gave us this matrix, 0, 1, 3. So again, what you do is you look at the last column, you, you take those answers, or those values, I should say, and you make an ordered pair out of them. Of course, the top number is the x value, and the bottom number is the y value. And there you have it. You're done. So make sure you go back to Math Guide, uh, check out our text-based lessons, interactive quizzes, and of course, our instructional videos. Take care.